Maybe you learned something from me. Maybe I'll learn something from you. Hey guys, it is day three of the big dig. Um, I give it an extra day. Yesterday I wasn't around. Um, this is the third day of working on it, but I give it a day or so to let the creek kind of drain off all the excess water and mud that I was down there digging with. So I'm going to go down in there. We'll take a look and kind of see how things got, see if things firmed up on the ground and uh, if it didn't then we're gonna have to address some different issues to get these containers back there but it is a long haul back in there and this creek is quite a bit of challenge to get across so we're gonna go down here and take a look and see how things are going Alright, uh, we're down here at the bottom. Still looks pretty muddy. I, I just still don't know. Maybe over a period of time this is going to uh, harden up enough to drag this stuff across. Um, the water, I guess it looks like it's still kind of moving here. Uh, doesn't seem to be trying to flood out down here yet. But uh, it... Uh, it seems to be uh, letting water pass through here, so hopefully over a little bit of time this will uh, pack up and harden up. Uh, I put a couple pipes here. I only see one right there, so um, but there's a couple of them down in the ground. And uh, I, I think, like I said, a, a couple, couple more days at letting it dry out, scraping it down, and getting this firmed up, but... I think it's definitely doable. I think we can get things across here and get the containers drug across. Now, over in here, I still got to go over there and cut down a couple more trees and uh, get that straight shot straight through there so that we can pull the containers over there and up on top of the hill. But uh, today, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go get my flags and we're going to go back here and we're going to mark off some property border lines. Think sounds like rain up there. Um, don't need the rain. But we're going to mark off some locations back in the back and kind of get an idea a little bit more precisely where the house is going to set and uh, get things going. I'm still waiting for that. Uh, state assessor or whatever to show up to uh, figure out those borders on the uh, property we know where approximately they are but I want to make sure 100% if I I don't want to go over there and touch the bulldozer on that piece of piece of property or, or the forestry will be on my ass terribly so um, for now we're just gonna get over there and flag things up and kind of get things ready but definitely through the woods this is a big location I think this lot is about 
maybe five or six thousand acres here uh, of solid woods and um, so there's definitely no no neighbors around that's for sure but yeah this is gonna be nice hopefully we um, once the project's done I'll go in here and kind of scrape around and clean things up and make it back to as natural as it's possible so that you know I wanted to make it look look like nothing was ever touched in here um, and then later on we'll get the main bridge put in down there by the house and things will be good so I'm gonna go get the uh, the flags and some tapes and uh, get things going All right, we're back over here on the property. I don't know if it's a good time to cut a tree. I don't. It's pretty windy. That gets a little bit dangerous because then the tra tree is swaying around, and then you don't know what direction it's going to fall. And it is also another thing. It's lightning, and that's the last thing you want to be messing with is a tree when it's lightning. But the property's coming along very good. This is what I wanted to get rained on because we moved a lot of dirt this direction. I needed a lot of dirt to be compacted down over here. And uh, rain definitely helps that situation. But we got a couple trees that need to go. We got these two trees right here. It looks like those two trees right there and a couple more over there before the house can go in. Um, but I definitely need to get these two trees up and out of here so that I can um, finish grading putting the grade on this and man is it lightning over there wow i just don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this so i'm gonna hop on my phone take a look at the weather maybe this will pass i don't know but uh my truck let's talk about my truck i did a lot of work on my truck just for this project yeah it's an old ford sports track called the exploder man is it always something breaking on this truck but i put a lot of lights on this truck this is for one reason coming up here working when it gets dark i got top lights side running lights running light bar i got back lights and i even got one on the very front for one i hate running generators because I just do not like listening to them screaming. The truck's very quiet. I can hook an inverter to it. It's very gas, doesn't use much gas to center idling. And those lights are not powerful. Believe it or not, of all those sets of lights I see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of lights on this thing. And I only have a 10 amp fuse that runs the whole thing. So I'm quite impressed uh, its efficiency. And our house, they haven't really talked about the lighting for our house. Our house is gonna be what they call low voltage DC lighting. Yeah, you thought DC lighting was dead, well no it's not. We're gonna be running these types of lights called SMDs, circuit-moded LEDs. 
but just they're bigger and they have a lot wider bevel to it and we're going to get to that eventually we got to get a bunch of lights gut them out put the the leds in it we got to get led drivers and so on when i get done hopefully most of the house will run on a computer power supply and if i can get by on about 12 or 1300 watts for the entire house with everything on a load that's my idea go really energy efficient uh, the led drivers are not going to be done through a transformer I, I talked about the atmx power supply but there's drivers on it that i want everything that feeds back to the control panel and yeah you got to have special drivers to make those lights work now there's some direct lighting that don't need drivers and so on but I want the house to be completely DC and the reason why is because the solar that we're going to put on the house will be able to dump in some low grade uh, batteries I don't need a lot of batteries the entire battery is just a buffer bank and uh, then we'll also have uh, we'll also have uh, city you know city power coming in and all that's going to do is just aid in the electric or the DC lighting of it so whatever my solar can't put out the transformer will back up and dump a little power into the batteries to keep the lights going but the house is mostly going to be done on those LED lights back just some, some similar to that but they're made for house house grade units so but for another do we're going to wait out we're going to see what this storm's going to do and I'm going to hop on my all right, I set my truck for the last few minutes. Looks like it's gonna probably rain the rest of the day. The radar looks pretty full. Um, we're gonna call it cuts here, but progress is continuing very well over here on the property. Um, we're just about done leveling. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. It, rain is supposed to be all week. I just, oh man. When I need it to not rain, it's going to rain, but the property is going very good. So we're going to get out. Woo! Rain, rain, rain. And um, we'll put my chainsaw back up. Putting these things on. It's a must put this guard on. Because you can actually cut yourself pretty bad with a chainsaw. Uh, the rain ain't going to hurt the saw. We're going to get out of here. Ground's getting soggy. I got to worry about getting out of here without getting stuck. Hey, looky there, a penny. Looky there. One cent richer now. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be back at it again. We'll get you plenty more content. And get this property finished cleaned up. Get these two trees out of here. Eventually work on these other ones, but they're not a must right now. And uh, if... I'm just trying to get the property cleaned up. But until the next video, get out there, design, and enjoy life. Till the next video, see you later. Ah, it's getting rained on.